What is up booby goaters? Um, just a little TMI thing. What I'm going to talk about is something that happens to ladies once a month for like, what, five to seven days. And I just, if you don't want to hear about this or um, anything like that, um, just go ahead and hit the like button and uh, toodles. What is up booby goaters? So this week I had my lady visit a peer. Now, my youngest is 15 months now. I exclusively breastfed, and I do that with all my kids. And they, they usually go till like they're two years old. My visitor came, and I had the weirdest reactions to this. Now, keep in mind, I'm 38 years old, okay? I know, I look great. A carnivore diet, <laughs> that's what we're talking about. <laughs> but anyway, um, I had these massive migraines for the first two days. I bloated up. I'll, I'll put a picture of me right here. I totally bloated up. Like, look at the belly. Look at the belly. Ah! <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? I thought when you do carnivore, you don't get this stuff. And so I Google it and I'm like, oh. So there's premenopause stuff, there's perimenopause, and then there's menopause. Now, I've watched a lot of YouTube carnivore stuff just to keep me motivated, just to keep me going. And I'm like, oh, maybe I'm not drinking enough water, but I drink a ton of water. Uh, I don't know. I, I did stop doing my electrolytes, and I have noticed a lot that I am kind of tired in the afternoon, and I'm not really as hyper. And I'm also thinking that maybe I'm not eating enough meat, but... I do eat meat, that's like all I eat, <laughs> but it's just like, maybe I need to just condense and go OMAD, don't be scared about it because I can fast and do one big meal a day and do it probably around three o'clock. So when I'm cooking for the non-carnivorous people in my household that I am not gonna, like, I'm not gonna like feel hungry at that time and eat food, you know? Yeah, it was a weird carnivore update because I was like, oh, so, um, uh, Aunt Flo came and now I'm having horrible symptoms that I haven't had till I was like, I think the last time I had them was like 15, like really bad cramps, terrible migraines for the first three days. And I'm like, holy smokes. And I don't even remember being bloated. Like what? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that happened and I totally bloated out and I'm like, well, maybe I should, let's talk about it is carnivore. I'm a carnivore. Plenty of you are. Let's talk about that and um, what was that going with that? But anyway, I wanted to share that and I was like, uh, isn't it supposed to be easier now being carnivore? There are a lot of uh, lady carnivores that were like, they're older and they were talking about how their pre-menopause was alright and it wasn't that bad, blah blah blah. And I'm just like, I'm here with like still lady stuff going on and um it's actually getting worse but maybe i don't know i don't know why so yeah there's that <laughs> just wanted to share that that happened and yay carnivore diet Ooh. but you know i feel my best on carnivore and i'm not going to like teeter from that but the coolest thing, and I'm wearing the shirt now, is this shirt. It buttons all the way, and I'm super excited about that. The scale hasn't faltered yet, but I'm also just trying to be. <laughs> to be the best person I can be, right? Let's just be. I don't know where I'm going with this, but I was just like, uh, has anybody else had that happen to them? Like, they're lady stuff for that we become more stronger on the carnivore diet or just like it's easier but this would be the second time I've had a monthly visitor in um in, in like almost two years so whoa yeah <laughs> breastfeeding man is awesome but I just thought I'd sit down and do like the carnivore update like that um 
if everybody has, I don't know if you should do this, maybe you should, but pick out an outfit if you're on a weight loss journey that you want to wear, that you know you can fit into. Like there are a pair of jeans, I did a little uh, carnivore diet um, update a few months back and I'm, I'm wearing suspenders to hold my jeans up because those jeans were really big, but those jeans were super tight super tight like like two months before so inches are going away but weight has not improved and I haven't tr even though last time I did my update I did a list of what like I, sh I could stick to and do that was easy and I've kind of just been writing down what I've had so I can stick to it and uh, just know how much uh, protein I ate that day versus the fat, but what I really need to write down is probably the calories. And I figure I do a lot of work and I do a lot of running around, so that could count as working out, but also last two weeks I haven't worked out. I haven't even done my push-ups. I am off track and I hate when I do that because then I go back to exercise and I am so sore the next day but I deserve it because I stopped exercising you know like duh that's what's gonna happen I don't know I just thought like maybe raise the question has anybody else had that happen to them doing carnivore and having regular cycles or when you cycle do you puff out because I puffed out a lot like I'm about to uh, post up a video about me planting more things and I'm just so puffy. I'm so puffy <laughs> from the lady thing. Like hormones. Maybe my hormones might be off. I don't know. Or maybe my hormones are actually finally fixed and I get all the wonderful things that happened to young ladies until they hit perimetopause and all that crap. Yay. Thought I'd bring that up. I don't know. And also like I've become very sensitive to the weather and I have not been that way and like for a while until we moved for like I'm I'm originally from Ohio and I could I could feel every time the weather changed and it would give me like migraines or just like sinus headaches right here all the time but now I'm getting them like frequently and it's probably because I stopped taking probably because I stopped doing the electrolytes and I'm gonna probably add those back in just to see and also I could just like pickle juice is an electrolyte and it's like what you need so that's easy too like I don't know anybody's not, not talking about hey you're on the carnivore diet pickle juice <laughs> that's 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 what you need it's cheap easy um, yeah, but that's about it. That's, uh, all I've got today and my update. <laughs> I'm thinking about starting a challenge, actually, uh, BBB and E, except for Fridays, I do fish. So I'm going to do that for 30 days and I'm starting it tomorrow. So I, um, I'll definitely do little shorts or little shows on it every day just to tell you about it because you know B, B, B and E. I've actually never done that. I'm almost 365 days carnivore and I've actually never just did strict beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. I can do it. It's easy and I think it'll be fun. So watch out for those videos as well. Have a great day booby goaters and if you haven't maybe a shot of pickle juice a day would be good. Who knows? <laughs> Have a great day, poopy coaters.